Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Eat Book Vlogs. I'm Nick. And I'm Sammy. And today we're going to be checking out some unique ramen in Singapore. Now, mm. are you a fan of ramen? Yes, I love ramen. Actually for me, right, wow, I love myself like a classic bowl of tonkotsu ramen. But mm. some of the ramen that we're going to be trying today, quite interesting. Let's go. Okay, so for our first stop, we are here at Takagi Ramen in Ang Mo Kyo. And they're known for their affordable tonkatsu ramen, which is only six ninety. It's a proper ramen place, right? But this is like hawker price, eh? Yeah. Two different ramen catering to local flavors: the salted egg crab ramen and the chili crab ramen. The salted egg ramen is eleven ninety, mm. and the chili crab ramen is ten ninety. So it's slightly pricier than their tonkatsu ramen, but looking at it, right, you can understand why mm. they give you the entire soft shell crab per bowl of ramen. So when they they gave us the bowl of ramen, right? The smell was very strong. Ah. It really smelled like chili crab. We're gonna be trying the salted egg ramen first. It actually tastes a lot like normal ramen to me. Like normal tonkotsu ramen? Yeah. So the salted egg flavor doesn't come through. I think I need to drink the soup first. Okay, okay, you try, you try. Now I taste the salted egg. It kind of tastes like a savory, salty version of the egg yolk custard bun. Yeah, but I feel like it could be stronger, the taste of the salted yeah. egg. Yeah. I think you can add more of it in. But actually what I really like is that the noodles on their own, right? It's not very like strong or overwhelming, that salted okay. egg taste. But when yeah. you want a bit more of that salted egg kick, then you take like a spoonful of soup yeah. and wow, then you get that full salted egg flavor. Yeah. So you won't get sick of it if yeah. you don't want to. I got like a mouthful of like the crab roll together with the salted egg. Wow, never joke. Yeah. yeah, I really like the crab. Actually all in all right, the amount of soft shell crab they give, the amount of noodles you get, you get like a full ramen egg plus like this broth right. Mm. Wow, 11 worth it. Yeah. This is cheaper than the salted egg chips that you can find outside. Yeah. The ramen egg wise, very well seasoned also. Definitely will come back and order it. I think it's very, very worth it. Okay, so next up we're gonna be trying the chili crab ramen. First impression, right? Look like sauté sauce. It's very, very thick and really smell that authentic chili crab smell. Mmm, the very strong and very sweet flavor. Really tastes like sauté sauce actually. A bit, right? Oh yeah. yeah, it has that sweet and spicy flavor. But I feel like I actually prefer the salted egg because this one is so full body, right? That I feel like I might not be able to make it. I through think the this whole one, right? I will get very jelly after a while. Mm. I actually quite like the noodles here and they're cooked perfectly. La. And the reason why they're so consistent in the noodles, right, is because they set a timer for each bowl of noodles that they cook. So it's the perfect consistency, texture, and doneness, right, for every bowl of noodles. In terms of like the sauce itself, right, it really tastes like chili crab. In fact, you give me like mantou now, right, I think I can dip inside and like it will be quite enjoyable. But yeah. because there is actual crab in here, we try with the soft shell crab. I actually prefer this soup with, with the crab, because right? it brings out the crabby flavor more. Overall, I think the ramen here is very affordable. Mm, I think for me, right, the real appeal of this place is that it really feels like you are in Japan because like yeah. it's a bit squeezy, there's not much space. Yeah. And it's located in a friendly neighborhood, Amokyo. Okay, so if Amokyo is a bit out of the way for you, there's another outlet in Jurong West as well as in NUS itself. <laughs> Okay, so right now we are at our second stop, Ramen Gallery Takuman at Circular Road. It is literally a gallery for ramen. They sell six different brands of ramen from six different chains in Japan. We're going to be trying two of their ramens. This is the fromage ramen or the cheese ramen. And then we have the bigiri ramen, which is a Tansan Mian inspired ramen. The first one that we're going to be trying is the fromage ramen. Now this one I'm very excited for because mm. three-time winner of the Michelin Beat Command Tokyo Award. So the soup base is actually made from chicken and kelp. And on top of that, right, they actually serve it with parma ham as well. The noodles look quite thin. So the interesting thing is that the noodles for each of their ramen, right, all different types of noodles. The noodle that they use for this, the tan tan mian, and the noodle that they use for the cheese ramen, different contents in terms of the flour, the mm. texture is different as well. First off, it tastes exactly like carbonara to me. It really yeah. tastes very Italian, like, it almost feels like you are eating pasta. Yeah. The soup itself, right, very interesting because even though it's like so flavorful, right, the texture and the consistency, right, it's still a soup yeah. broth, not yeah. like a creamy like mm. carbonara sauce. Yeah. And I can understand why they use parma ham as well because that distinctly Italian flavor, right? I think it's brought across even stronger with the parma ham. The noodles are slightly different from your usual ramen noodles. They're almost like a soba slash pasta kind of like consistency yeah. and texture. Mm. Really. And I like that they added the green onions. 
because it adds a little bit more of like an Asian flavour. So this ramen that we have here is a binkiri ramen. Mm. It's a tantan mian. The smell is yeah. very reminiscent of the Sichuan yeah. tantan ramen. You can see like preserved vegetables. Yeah. You can see like, oh like they have all the like the tong and the peppercorn and the mince meat. pork. And it's like oily. The noodles are very very springy. Very very strong vinegary taste. Yeah, I can taste the peppercorn Very flavor. very strong, yeah. Mm. So the mouthful that I just took right, really like mm. packs a punch. But the surprising thing is that it's not overly ma. Even though it's a Sichuan dish right, and it looks like this, very easy to eat. You're getting that authentic Sichuan flavour mm. without the pain. And I actually like that they added like onions in there as well because mm. it gives it a bit of like a sweet taste. Yes. The ramen is also actually served with an onsen egg which you're supposed to like break up and then stir inside. Which I think also helps to sort of like nullify that like spiciness. It gives the broth more flavour mm. and more body also. Yeah. So actually which one do you prefer between the two ramen that we tried? I think I definitely prefer the Binkiri ramen. Okay. Just because it was such a strong, flavorful ramen. I feel like to me I also prefer the Tan Tan Mian because flavours quite complex. Yeah. As compared to the fromage ramen which was a bit more like straightforward I would yeah. say. So it's tucked away in a quiet corner of Boat Key. What I really like about this place right, is that you really get like the variety mm. here. Six different ramen brands, truly like a ramen gallery. Okay, so we're gonna head to our third and final ramen restaurant. Mm. This next place, I've actually eaten there before. It is my go-to ramen restaurant. Very excited to show you all uh, one of my favourite ramen places in Singapore. Let's go! Here we are at our last stop, Ramen Nagi at Suntec City. So Ramen Nagi is my favourite ramen place. Today we are going to be trying their Green King, their Black King, as well as a special ramen. This is their first anniversary special, the Veggie King as well. I think this is the most well-presented ramen that we have had today. Quite sure it will taste as good as it looks. So first up, we are going to be trying their first anniversary special ramen, the Veggie King. So this ramen has cauliflower, seaweed and mushroom inside. And there's also even like some rosti. Yeah, I've never seen yeah. rosti on top of my ramen before. This broth, right? I don't know if you can even call it a broth anymore. It looks quite frothy and... Yeah, uh, it's very, very frothy. thick. I feel like I'm looking at almost like shredded garlic, yeah. which I love lah. The smell yeah. of garlic comes across very strong also. I don't think I've ever been so excited for like a vegetable-based dish before. Make sure you get a bit of rosti. Like a burst of flavour in my mouth right now. It's like a umami explosion mm, eh, really. It is. A bit sweet, a bit, a bit salty. spicy. A bit spicy. Okay, I love the texture of the noodles. Yeah. It really looks like the kind that I would want to get in Japan. Mm. They are slightly thinner, but it's still very, very springy. Wow. And the rosti gives it a very nice touch also because that fried potato taste, right? It really adds another like yeah. dimension to the entire dish. And the wow. garlic taste isn't very strong. It's mm. like quite light. Everything just blends in very well. Yeah, I think this might be my favorite ramen so far like that we tried today. The rosti is so good. I'm usually the type that really likes soup in my ramen, but even though there's not much soup in this, I will get this. I will easily give this like a 8 out of 10. I think 8.5 for me. If you are craving like, oh I want normal ramen, this will not satisfy you. But if you want something different, if you want something special, right, this is something you can try. Okay, so next up we have the Green King. This base, right, is actually like a pesto base. The pesto smell is very, very strong. Okay, the taste is very, very interesting. I don't think I've ever tasted any like ramen or noodle dish for that matter like this before. It tastes healthy eh. I feel like I'm eating a salad, but at the same time, you can really taste the oil from the broth also. What I noticed as well with the Veggie King as well as the Green King so far is that because the noodles are of like a thinner variety, the broth can coat it very well. Every bite is like oozing flavour. The interesting thing is that I feel like the broth, right, goes better with the char siu than it does with the noodles. The broth becomes almost like a dipping sauce eh? like salad dressing like that. <laughs> I feel like the more I eat this, the more it's growing on me. It might not be for everyone, but if you've never tried it before, definitely worth at least a try. Okay, so last but not least, for our last ramen of the day, we have the Black King. So this one, it has black garlic on mm. top. It has a squid ink as well. Mm. So really a lot of flavours in there. We have really ventured into fusion already. Not when like... I first looked at it, I was like, it doesn't really look very appetising. Mm. But it smells very good. On the contrary, right, to me it looked quite appetising because that whole mountain of like minced pork and then like the idea that, oh, blackened garlic. There's an overwhelmingly squid ink flavour. I don't know if I actually like this eh, because like the sesame flavour that pork flavour and then squid ink and then garlic. It's a bit much to me lah. 
I thought everything complemented very well. The soup is just more of that very intense flavour. The char siu itself is really naturally a bit sweet and then because the broth has that very strong flavour, right, the sweetness helps to like counterbalance that a bit. So actually out of the three, right, which one is your favourite? I would still have to go with this one, the, the green, green cake. The green cake. Oh. Like you said, it tastes like healthy salad. It kind of balances out the whole carby feel of it. My favourite is definitely the veggie king. I cannot imagine like a broth made out of just vegetables, right? You can get this. The thickness, consistency, everything just goes well together. On the other hand, the green king and black king, right? You may or may not like them, but the veggie king, right? 90% confident you will like. Ramen Agi is super, super convenient. Suntec City, right next to Tower 2. Uh, it's very crowded, actually. It reminds me more of like the authentic ramen store in Japan. Yeah, like yeah. a lot of energy, like hustle and bustle. It's like a after a work day in Tokyo. Okay, so three different ramen places today, all very, very different. The first one, Takagi Ramen. Wow, oh, the affordability like, mm. quite high level. Yeah. And the second place, of course, Ramen Gallery. Six different ramen brands in one restaurant. My favourite was definitely Ramen Nagi mm. because I love their drinking ramen. It was very delicious and it was like the most unique one. In terms of my favourite, I think it's Ramen Nagi as well because you're talking about unique ramen, right? Squid ink, basil leaf, with like broths and ingredients and recipes like that, right? You cannot get any more unique than that. So thanks for watching this episode of Ebook Vlogs. If you like this video, you can watch our other videos over there. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as well. Bye. Bye.